In this Blender tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to change what the background world looks like to the camera, but not have it change for the rest of the scene or vice versa. Now, if that didn't quite make sense, let me just show you what I mean. So I've set up this little scene right here and I added an HDRI from HDRI Haven. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to the shading tab and then right here, normally it's on the object, but if you change this to world, you can now preview the world nodes. And you can see here's the HDRI that I've added. What you do is you press Shift A and you're gonna search for a light path node. And now what I wanna do is I wanna press Shift A and I wanna search for a mix shader. I'm just gonna drop the mix shader right here. And then what I need to do is I need to take the is camera ray and we're gonna put this into the factor. So what this is doing is it's telling it that whatever the camera sees, that's gonna be this shader down here and there's nothing in here so it's black, but then all of the objects are gonna react to this background right here, and that way there's gonna be all these reflections and the lighting. So to show you what I mean further, I'm gonna click on this, shift click on this, and I'll press shift D, and then I will plug this up here. So now both of these, they're both using the same HDRI, and so they look exactly the same. But for instance, if you take the strength value and turn it way up, you can see that it looks like the HDRI is a lot brighter. You can see how bright this is, but the objects haven't reacted to that because the objects, they react to this background right here. So this this one is what the objects see and this one is what the camera sees. So this will allow you to do some pretty cool things. For instance, I was working on an animation recently, I'm still working on it, and I wanted the background to be darker, but then I still wanted the objects to be reflecting the world. So what I did is I just set this to one, but then the background, because I wanted that to be darker, I turned it down to like a 0.4, and you can see that now the HDRI is very dark, but these objects still reflect the bright background. And you could even turn this up even more. So so it's very, very bright. And then if for some reason you wanted to switch that, you could just change these values. You could also just switch these two. So now it's going to be reacting to the other one because I just switched these. Another thing you can do is if I just unplug this, you can press Shift A and search for an RGB and just drop the RGB right here. And then you can plug the RGB up to this shader. And what that does is it just displays the color. So for instance, if you just wanted a blank background color, but still have the objects react to the world, you could just plug that in. And now you can just change this and it just makes the color in the background so that could be very useful in many cases and let me just delete this and plug this back up you could also do things like edit this HDRI so if you just wanted to like color correct it or do something like that you could press shift a search for an RGB curves drop this in here and then you could play around with this kind of like make it more contrasty, add more red, things like that. You could also add like a hue saturation. It really just depends on what you're doing. You could change the hue, you could change the saturation so there's uh, more bright colors and the value here as well. And you could do that for the top one as well. So if I just select this and press Control X, that'll get rid of it, but keep it plugged up. So I'm gonna click on this one, Control X, and then I'll just press Shift A, maybe just add an RGB curves in this one. So then this one, if I edit this one, you can see that the objects, the lighting is changing on the objects, but the background is still staying the same. So that's going to be it for this video. I hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in another video.